Well, it's an exciting day for me today. I'm going to cut the hay field. So actually I got a friend of mine that's gonna cut and bale it. It's just not worthwhile for me to uh, buy all the hay equipment to cut this. So uh, we're doing a little bit of a trade on a little bit of work. And uh, he's gonna come cut and tether all this up and probably three or four days let it dry. Um, I wanted to cut it last week, but we ended up getting five inches of rain and it was uh too wet to get out in the field it ended up raining again last night but uh we got the next seven days of dry weather so gonna get in here this afternoon and cut it now this stuff's really starting to seed out pretty good i want to go ahead and get it cut and laid on the ground so i'm excited to see what it yields this is just uh rye grass so um i'll only get one cutting out of this before it dies off this summer but it was just kind of a test to see what the field will produce. I'm hoping for four to five uh, round bales an acre. So that should put me around 40 to 50 bales. This should be about 10 acres. It may be a touch bit bigger. So we'll just have to uh, see what it becomes. So hopefully I can get back and uh, he's gonna come over here after lunch, cut this down and uh, get it laid on the ground and start letting it dry out some. So somewhere from my, the front of my truck over, all this was filled it, uh, planted uh, in this direction and that direction. Um, and then all that was just planted in, in one, one direction uh, because I didn't have the cedar set in the right direction. So all this got seeded twice, so it should yield a little bit better than I would say that third of the field. But it's, uh, once you get away from the edge, it's about three feet high all out there so i'm excited it's exciting so it looks like that's really the only spot right there that laid down in the uh wind and rain last night so hopefully it'll still be able to cut that it's kind of flat on the ground but we'll see how good the uh cutter can cut it. i think he said he can cut it about three inches off the ground and get as much as possible but there it is i'll get some video when he shows up and start cutting some grass well, I didn't miss all of it, but I got back here in time. He's uh, making some laps around here. Look like he's got the field cut in half. You can kind of see about right there where I, I quit double planting it. And uh, but it looks like we're gonna have a pretty good yield. He's cutting it about two and a half, three inches off the ground. That's gonna make a lot. That's a good, uh, that's a good stand of grass right there. Looks like he's able to cut everything that was uh, laid down as well. Oh yeah. It's really wet right here. It doesn't lay it down as smooth as that. But we got to work within the weather window we have. It is cutting it all down though. It don't look like it's cutting it down, but it's cutting it down. So it's just so thick and wet. Normally it'll lay down nice and even like that. We'll let it dry for a day or so and then come out here and tether it down and, and into rows there and get it fluffed up so it'll dry out because it's at about 95% moisture right now. It's wet. He gets over a couple more passes. This ought to uh, dry out pretty good. There we go. Now it's nice and dry out here. Cutting it down a lot better now. That side over there is wet. <laughs> Interested to see how many bales an acre I get. That'll be a good, pretty good stand over there too. That's still pretty thick. Glad I cleaned out the hay barn. I'm gonna need both bays this year.
So first hay crop of 2023 is all laid on the ground. There was a strip right here. I don't know. It was just so dense and moisture. It was wet. It was wet from kind of where it was laid down, but it kind of bunched up when he cut it. It's all cut. It's all cut. It just looks like it's not cut. It didn't lay over as nice as this right here. So unfortunately this doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight during the day. Uh, but we have quite the weather window of nice weather coming up. So going to let this lay out here uh, tomorrow is Sunday and then come out here and tether it on Monday, get it raked up a little bit, but this is what it should look like. Kind of laid down a little bit more. So there's a chance of a shower tomorrow. It should run off of it. And then we'll get it raked up a couple times and hopefully dry it out and bale it in about five days. It's exciting. Well, he's got the uh, tether over here now. Kicking the grass up so that it dries out a little more. Right here was the uh, wettest spot where everything was bunched up and that's kind of scattered it out pretty good. And fluffed it up considering it rained on it again last night but should be dry all week and temperatures in the 80s so probably about three more days it'll be ready getting everything raked into rows so we can bale it this afternoon. Still a couple little damp areas, but we should uh, dry out in the next three or four hours before we bale it and be good to go. getting it all raked up. It's gonna make some nice bales there.
So this half of the field was only planted in uh, one direction and the rest was planted in two directions. So as you get farther up the hill, it should yield a little better. Look at all that pretty hay. bail That's a pretty sight, all those bales in the field. So he's probably two thirds of the way done. Eh, maybe not quite two thirds. 
at least 50 percent and uh they're really starting to add up so we've got the trailer right here going to go ahead and uh start loading it on there and taking it over there to the barn i'm going to put some of it under shelter this stuff was checking pretty dry so i'm going to put some of this under the shelter and the rest of it kind of leave it out and let it dry a little bit longer getting the hay up so this should hold uh 10 on the first row then four more up top so 14. Yeah, two more should fit and the ramps hold it. And we'll sit one, two, yeah, four more up top. Could double stack it. Probably double stack it. They seem to be about seven or eight hundred pounds. They're pretty doggone heavy. I could barely, I can't even roll one. I'm gonna say that's a pretty good load. Got 14 bales on there. They are four by five bales. As you can tell, the trailer is 25 feet long and it is uh, full. We probably could have double stacked those and got uh, 18, but uh, I think that's enough for the uh, maiden voyage. It's actually got the truck squat and they are, uh, they might be heavier than I think they are. All right. There we have it. Last load has 18 bales on it. There are still three more left in the field. Run back over here with the tractor and grab those. Not too bad. I scaled it out exactly 10 acres for the field and got exactly 50 bales. So five acres or uh, five bales to the acre. I feel that's a pretty good yield. It is ryegrass, so my plan is to plant this in fescue. That way I can get a spring and a fall cut. Um, probably won't try to get three cuttings out of the year, just two good ones. So that should yield me around uh, 100 bales a year. Well, let's just say 80. 80 to 100 off of this, and then by the time I finish clearing that over there, that'll give me another acre or so. But I'm happy with it. It's a nice, uh, nice load of hay. So I'm going to put that one under the shelter where the backhoe is and then finish uh, stacking it under the uh, hay shelter once that dries out. Just a little bit more. It's calling for a lot of rain tomorrow and I didn't want to leave all this stuff laying out uh, where it would get wet. But might set it back out and let it dry just a little bit more. It's still green, but it's under 20%, but not much. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed uh, the first year of uh, hay on the farm. I have. <laughs>